Welcome to Foss Knot. We're about to celebrate. And now your host's going to be Emily Tinney, which is my mama. And I hope you enjoy this. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Thank you, Luke, for that awesome introduction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, Bethany family, to our 2022 Fast Knot presentation. Um, throughout the evening, we are going to provide a short but enjoyable presentation, and we're also going to meet different members of our council and hear a little bit about what they do in and around Bethany. I'll go first by saying my name is Emily Cheney. I am one of the technology heads, and I also run our youth group. Um, let me begin our evening officially by throwing it to our vice pastor, Pastor Peggy Marks. Action! Action! Thanks, Luke. Hi, everybody. I'm Pastor Peggy Marks. I'm that name on your bulletin that you can't put a face to because you haven't seen me very often around the church. I'm the vice pastor. I always say that the vice pastor in charge of vice. So I hope there's something fun going on and a lot of vice going on. Um, if you need to contact me to reach me for any reason, my telephone number and email address are in your, your bulletin. How do I celebrate pasta? Usually by having pancakes and sausage and donuts. That's the best part. And also by burning the palms left over from last Palm Sunday to make ashes for Ash Wednesday. So I hope you all have a blessed Lenten season. Thanks. Thank you, Pastor Peggy. Up next, I've prepared a little song for you. It's an oldie, but a goodie, and it happens to be one of my favorites. I feel like in this world, we can all help to make it a better place by just letting our light shine. Enjoy. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. shine hallelujah everywhere i go i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine all through my house i'm gonna let it shine all through my house i'm gonna let it shine hallelujah all through my house So let's get down to business. Let's meet a few more members of our council, after which one of our former council members, Rick Dreeby, will tell us a little bit of the history of Palmyra. Hello, everybody. I'm Tom Willard. Uh, I'm on church council, vice president currently. Um, we're going to celebrate, we used to celebrate Fasta here at the church by having a great dinner and a lot of creative acts and sometimes quiz shows and game shows. This year we're, we're going to do it virtually because of the COVID and uh, I'm probably going to have a special thing to show you, but I don't exactly know what it is right now. But I look forward to everybody participating and uh, watching on the virtual camera. Thank you. Thank you. 
Brad Young, Church Council uh, Worship Committee. You can reach out to me for anything. And happy Fast Night, everybody. And I have no idea what I'm going to do tonight. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Dreeby, and I've been asked to touch on some more historical issues and people and items that have occurred in Palmyra over the years. So I would like to start out by talking about the Toy Morgan House, which is located at Bank and Cinnamon Avenues in Palmyra. The Swedes settled in present-day Palmyra in late 17th century, and in 1761, descendants Elias Toy built a stone farmhouse. It's the oldest remaining house in the borough, and generations after it was built, Isaiah Toy made Palmyra what it is today. It's the original home of Palmyra, and Isaiah Toy could be called the father of modern-day Palmyra. Benjamin Franklin is rumored to have stayed with Toy family while traveling through New Jersey. And in the mid-1800s, the house was purchased by another prominent family, the Morgans, who expanded their original structure into what it is today. Though its surroundings have changed over the years, the Toy Morgan house remains unchanged. One of the reasons Toy is considered father of Palmyra is because he changed the borough's name in 1849. Reports say back in time that while there are several theories behind why Toy, Toy changed the name from Texas to Palmyra, it is likely due to the landowner's affinity for ancient history. The historical Palmyra was a powerful Syrian outpost of the Roman Empire that became known as the first Roman territory to convert to Christianity. It was more likely for this reason Toy chose to honor the original Palmyra in his choice of names. Now I'd like to speak about a Lena Blackburn, who also lived in Palmyra. Though he may have been a lukewarm player himself and made an impact on Major League Baseball, he actually changed the game. A man by the name of Lena Blackburn made a discovery that in addition to his work in the community, earned him his own baseball field in Palmyra. An infielder for the Palmyra Field Club, an eventual Major League Baseball scout, Blackburn is best known for discovering a rubbing mud that is still used by the major and minor leagues today. The discovery of the mud made him famous was first discovered in his youth, and when he brought it to Connie Mack Stadium to test on the baseballs there, it changed the game. And finally, I just talked a little bit about the Tacoma Fire Bridge. The Tacoma Fire Bridge over the Delaware River connects the towns of Palmyra, New Jersey, and the Tacoma, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Built by the Tacoma Fire Bridge Company, it replaced the existing ferry service operating between the two cities. Construction began in February 1928, and the structure opened on August 14, 1929. Its total cost was slightly over $4 million. Twenty years later, the bridge was acquired by its present owners, the Bronte County Bridge Commission, which has operated and maintained the span since. Designed by Rudolph Majewski, whose previous engineering credits include the Manhattan Bridge and the Benjamin Franklin Bridge, the Tony, the Tony Palmyra Bridge is 38 feet wide and carries three lanes of vehicular traffic, two into Philadelphia and one into New Jersey. Pedestrians are also allowed across the bridge. The total length of the bridge is 3,659 feet. Vertical clearance under the uh, center arch span is 64 feet high, and clearance under the bass gold span is about 54 feet high. Vessels needing a vertical clearance more than that of the center span will request a bridge opening. If bass gold spans leaves, two leaves are then raised to permit passage. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little history lesson about Palmyra. And if you should have any questions, you should search the internet uh, at your convenience and look up Palmar history. And you'll be able to see some of this factual information. And as long with that, you might even be able to uh, research Facebook and look up Palmar history. And you'll see a significant amount of pictures and some articles that may appear on there as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. 
and I uh, wish everybody a good day. Thank you. Now, it wouldn't be a true Bethany Fosnot celebration without a few corny jokes. I have Debbie Schoen to thank for a couple of these, and as our music director, I think you'll see why she liked them. To start off, what is a Taylor's favorite hymn? Any guesses? Holy, holy, holy. I imagine that keeps them in business, so it makes sense. <laughs> Secondly, what is a dentist's favorite hymn? Crown him with many crowns. After all my fast nut donuts, that could very well be my favorite hymn too. <laughs> Finally, what is a contractor's favorite hymn? The church's one foundation. If any of you saw them coming, you too can be a comedian. <laughs> Up next, let's meet some more members of our council and let's round out the night with a very special guest and friend, someone that's visited in the past and made a special trip here to Bethany for this particular presentation. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Kim Salted. Um, part of the council. Um, you can reach me for anything related to technology or the youth group. Um, I also help run the website, so if you need anything added or have any suggestions, you can contact me. Um, tonight for FOSNAC, I think I'm going to sit at home on my couch and do as much as I can without regurgitating it. <laughs> my name is Dan Schoen, better known as Mr. Debbie Schoen. I'm on the uh, church council on various committees, and today I'm presently counting this month, which is the last day of the month. So, uh, and why would someone reach out to you on council? What might they need from you that you could help them with? Ask me anything. <laughs> if I don't know, I'll find out. <laughs> okay? Perfect. And how will you be celebrating Fosnot tonight, Dan? Tonight I'll be sitting home watching TV, having donuts. That sounds like a plan. Thanks, Dan. Hi, my name is Debbie Schoen. I'm music director at Bethany Lutheran Church, and I'm also known as Mrs. Debbie Schoen. Um, we would love to start the choir up when we can get through this COVID mess. And anyone who would like to join the choir, please reach out to the church office. And um, for Fast Knock, I first will be hiding the donuts on Dan, and second, I'll go to bed early. Hi, my name is Stephanie Sotomayor. I'm one of the members of the church council. I also participate in WELCA, our women's group. And one of my other jobs that I really enjoy is being one of the flower ladies. And I get to make the flower arrangements. As far as Foss Knot, I had never heard about that until I came to this church about five years ago. And clearly my favorite part was eating donuts. But I'll just have to do that at home this year. See you next year, hopefully, for Foss Night. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Tommy Cash. I hear that train a coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the pastor since I don't know when. I'm here at Bethany Lutheran. And the search keeps dragging on. But that train keeps a rolling on down to Camden. I bet there's a pastor looking for the church. I'd pray, he's probably praying to end the Senate search. But I know it takes a long time. I know it won't be soon. But these wishes keep me praying, and that's what rights is to. Well, if they find a pastor for our little church, that would sure be fine. I bet I'd move the sermons a little farther down the line, far from the river line. That's where I want to pray. And I let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Yeah!
I hope you have enjoyed tonight's Fast Knot presentation. Whether you celebrated by eating donuts and having pancakes, by going out and having dinner somewhere fancy, or just at home with your favorite furry friends, I hope that for the rest of the evening you can sit home, relax, and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.